Okay, hi guys. I am super excited. Why? Because this video is about me unboxing my new iPhone X. <laughs> so I'm super excited about this. Um, so yeah, let's get it started. a kid in a candy store like I'm legit happy first and foremost all my friends who know me recently they know ignore my messy nails it's been a long week it's been a long day but I had to bring this video to you guys because I couldn't wait any longer I've actually had a long work day but I live for this moment okay it took me so much to get my package back in my hands today instead of tomorrow so I'm super excited so anyways all my close friends know that my biggest struggle is with my iPhone 6 like I am a little bit stubborn or I was a little bit stubborn about replacing my phone my phone is like obsolete and I was a little stubborn I'm like I get a new phone when I feel like getting a new phone so um, if you could see it you probably I don't know if you can it's on 5%. I know you can't see it, but it's just, it's terrible. So I would like full charge my battery and it would just pretty much die as soon as I receive a phone call. Or it could be at full charge or half charge and it would just die. So I was just being stubborn about the fact that it matter. Basically, um, my boyfriend and I came up with this great idea to uh, wake up a couple minutes before three o'clock in the morning literally um california was probably 12 a.m or 1 a.m or whatever but here where we are um basically it was three o'clock in the morning so we was like yeah we're gonna get up at 2 30 we're gonna get up early because the pre-order starts at three uh both of us fell asleep uh we didn't get up until literally two to three minutes before three o'clock so i'm like man you know i never i'm never the one who get stuff like this I'm never gonna get it and plus my provider is T-Mobile so T so when you go on Apple's website um, they specifically say that if you have T-Mobile um, you have to go to the store so um, pretty much I went online to see if it was possible for me to pre-order um, so it had a capability for me to pre-order but something happened on my account which is basically a long story where I couldn't, I wasn't an authorized user, but they said I was an authorized user, but I had to have a pen. I mean, it was a, it was a big mess. So um, what happened was at approximately 2.58 AM, I tried to order, it let me halfway order it, but, but it didn't process. Like I believe the website was crashing and freezing and doing all types of weird, all types of weird stuff. So I called my mom because she's also an authorized user on the account. I'm like, Mom, called her at three o'clock. Mom, I need you right now. Why do you need me with this phone? It's a million dollars. It's super expensive. Like, why do you need me or whatever? Because this is very important. I said, we gotta hurry up and talk um, because you already know that my phone, my iPhone 6 is gonna die. Um, so we need to do this ASAP. My phone isn't charging properly because my charge is all messed up. Just all types of stuff, right? So she gets on the ball, she like, she gets online, she tries to order it. I'm like, mom, I already told you it's not working. So uh, finally she's like, well, let's just call. I'm like, oh my God. We'll be the last people to get like the new, the iPhone X. Like I, I had faith in him, I didn't have faith in him. So um, I spoke with the representative on the phone and she was, she just asked me a few questions. What color you want? Da -da -da -da. I said, look, I don't want the phone unless I'm gonna get it in the next week. How about that? So she pretty much put all the information in and I signed like verbal contracts and things of that sort. And before you know it, at um, about 3.40 p.m., uh, I pretty much got my iPhone. And I was shocked because like a couple minutes later, it said across the board that it was sold out. Um, and that if you wanted to pre-order, you wouldn't get yours until a few, a few weeks later than I was getting mine. I was thoroughly shocked. So, finally, the wait is over. 
um, all the people I have ignored for the past uh, <laughs> couple weeks because I just didn't feel like calling them just for my phone to hang up because the battery is kind of messed up. Yeah, I could have bought a new battery. I surely could. But guess what? Other features on the phone kind of start going out too. So it's probably more advisable for me to get a new phone, to be honest. Uh, my airdrop was acting up and just little things here and there. Um, and also my boyfriend claims that um, the screen, there was like burning around the edges, like the edges of the screen. I'm like, how? But whatever, I didn't see it, but he claimed to see it, but he wears glasses, I don't wear glasses, so whatever. We're gonna go off of me, cause I have 20-20 vision, okay? So anyways, um, this is just the box, like I said. This is comparing my old to my new. Um, so really quickly, I'm just gonna compare sizes with the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7, and my iPhone X. I cannot wait to open this, guys. You don't understand. Like, uh, and the heavens opened up. No. <laughs> throw that box to the side and I keep all my boxes I don't know if that's weird I'm pretty for sure people who um all Apple people keep their boxes I have a thing with all my boxes like if when I turn my phone in I keep all my boxes so um you have this little bitty this paper here um designed by Apple in California and you pull this out hello <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> and then you have the classic stickers that they give you that nobody ever knows what to do with. What do you really do with these things? Because they don't fit on the phone and I don't even think I would want this on my phone. I don't want to mess it up, it's so pretty. So then you have some basic, you remember back in the day guys when they had like legit like manuals, you could read the whole thing. Any product really would come with like a thousand page manual that well, Apple decides to give you this. And guess who's still not gonna read it? This person here. I couldn't care less. It's pretty though. So I'm gonna slide this back in the case. Later. <laughs> oh, my life is so pretty full. It's so pretty full. I love it. It's so shiny. I don't even want to touch it because my other one, if it's anything like my other one, guys, this thing has fingerprints all on it. Actually, from the last couple of models that I've received, in my opinion, they've all gotten very dirty. This one is dirty. This one is dirty. We'll see if this one stays clean. But, um, so yeah. This is just to compare sizes. This is just to compare sizes. So every time I lift it, it comes on, it comes on. So anyways, um, iPhone 7, iPhone 6, did we get the, oh, this is a 7 plus, I'm sorry. I, um, I lied. Uh, this is a 7, this is a 6. You guys already have an idea of the sizing of that. Oh, before I show my phone, I gotta show you the accessories. So obviously, all this has, Okay, I'm a fool. I thought this had a matte finish because before it was shiny, but they just didn't it. So I'm just gonna put this back in the box. Can you see the box? Okay, so this is how the box looks. These are the funny type of headphones that I'm not used to yet, but I guess I will be used to them. I will be used to them. They interchange with the charger. So yeah. So this is the headphones, or the ear pods, or whatever you wanna call them. This is the, I'm messing up all these names, okay? I forgot what the name of this thing is, but basically if I want to listen to my headphones, do not have Bluetooth capability, then I guess this, I could put this little cute little adapter thingy. My iPhone 6 is dying as we speak, so I can't wait to activate my new phone. So bear with me. This is just the adapter for the headphones. And this is the lightning. This is the lightning connector. 
I'm reading the back. The iPhone X, the AirPods, the Lightning connector, the Lightning to headphone jack adapter, the Lightning to USB cable, and the USB power adapter. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yep, so I'm gonna put all this cute stuff back in the box. And now, bum bum bum. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's so shiny, oh my God. <laughs> I'm about to cry. Look at the back of this, like, it reminds me of the iPhone 4, but just a thousand times better. Only reason why I say that is because to me, in my opinion, that was one of the prettiest iPhones. It was all glass. Now this one is back to being all glass. So, um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Now I'm going to have to get used to this because immediately when I went to turn on the phone, I get this and guess what? There's no home button. But yeah, I'm literally going to have to set it up. So I'll do that off camera and then maybe in a couple of weeks um, after I test my phone out and just kind of see how I like it, then I will come back and give you a review on that. But thank you for watching my video. I found how to turn it on. <laughs> Hello. No. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. It's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm super happy about this. I don't know these languages, I don't. But this is so pretty, I'm sure. That's obviously French. But. So this is just to compare it with the seven. Seven plus. Boom. And this is just to compare it with the, with the iPhone six. So it's slightly bigger, bigger screen, but slightly bigger phone. So I don't know, it kind of looks slightly bigger to me. Um, this is the compare all three. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like, but come by often. Thank you. Bye.